Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sif and I am the founder of the blog Icing and Glitter. Um, and if you have been here before, welcome back. So I get a lot of DMs on Instagram and emails asking about sun protection, what my favorites are, the differences between physical and chemical, and I wanted to get into all of that today. So first and foremost, I should say that I've had the privilege of speaking to a lot of leaders in the skincare industry. And one recurring piece of advice I get is to use sun protection. Every dermatologist I have ever spoken to says that if there is one anti-aging tip that they can give you, it is to wear sun protection because the sun is the leading cause of aging for our skin. So, you know, you can use all the vitamin C, all the hyaluronic acid, all the fancy creams and serums that you want, but if you don't have your sun protection on, you will age. So this is the most basic part of your skincare routine. It should be a non-negotiable. And here's the thing, right? Like I get so many messages from people saying that their sunscreen, you know, like it feels like it's blocking their pores. It makes them break out. And uh, it's just about finding the right ones, which I will get into today. Personally, from my experience, I can completely relate to that feeling. Um, for me, my mom has been drilling sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen into my brain since I was like, I don't know, 15 years old because she actually developed sunspots and has been trying to correct it ever since. Um, when I was younger, I remember wearing sunscreens that just felt so uncomfortable and, you know, I would like a lot of the times I just wouldn't want to wear it and I just walk out of the house without it but over time I've realized that that it's just about finding the right wine right same with any other skin skincare product so I have thankfully found the right ones that work for me and I think that you know these are overall really good ones that have gotten really really good reviews and which I personally can stand behind so before I get into my favorites I thought that I would first talk to you about the difference between physical and chemical sunscreens. So sun, the physical sunscreen, also known as, known as mineral sunscreen or sun block, has basically two active ingredients. One is zinc oxide and the other one is titanium oxide. So active ingredients are basically the ones that do the bulk of the work. In active ingredients, they can be really anything. So in terms of physical sunblock, the way it works is that it basically it creates a barrier between you and the sun. So think of it like a shield between your face and the UVA and UV rays from the sun. So it just sits there and doesn't let the sun rays penetrate and do their damaging work essentially. Um, with physical sunscreen or physical sunscreen, sunblock, whatever you want to call it, um, essentially it, like more clean brands are using physical sunscreen or creating physical sunscreen. There's a lot of research now saying that, you know, physical sunscreens are better for you as opposed to um, chemical sunscreens, but you know, you do your research, you figure out what works best for you and you know, go by that. I just wanna provide all the information, but I, and I won't say like whether one is more harmful than the other. Personally, I prefer, or I have been leaning more towards mineral sunscreens but i'm not so strict and so stringent in my skincare routine that i just absolutely won't use a chemical one so um that is basically how physical sunscreens work so now let's move on to chemical so with chemical sunscreen it basically um okay first and foremost the ingredients so i'm gonna put the ingredients here but essentially there's four main active ingredients that um chemical sunscreens use i believe one of them is oxybenzone and then there's a few more i'm just gonna put it right over here um the way chemical sunscreens work is that they translate the harmful rays from the sun into heat so basically instead of penetrating your skin and doing it's you know like making you age and just having harmful effects it all it does is change that uva uv rays into just heat onto your skin so basically it just causes a chemical reaction with the sun and hits your skin differently um one thing to note about chemical sunscreens is that in order for them to do their work you do need to wear them about 15 to 20 minutes before you want to leave and go out into the sun and 
you know, you might think that this is nothing, but if you think about it, every day that you spend in the sun, even if it's five minutes, it adds up and those are the things that age you. So it's just really, really important to be careful about sun exposure. And it's like one of those things that like, if you're gonna wear a chemical one, just give yourself the 15 minutes in advance. Just guys, just give it to yourself. Like, don't just go out. It, it just causes damage that you're trying to protect yourself against anyway. So, you know, if you're running out the door, choose a mineral one, just, just do it. <laughs> okay, so now that you know the difference, um, I wanted to get into my favorites. Oh, and one more thing I should add is that with chemical sunscreens, because it translates the sun into heat, it could have a negative effect on um, hyperpigmentation or acne scars. It could make it darker because any sort of heat does that. Um, anyway, so now that you know the differences, let's get into my personal favorites. So I have three and actually they're all um, mineral. It's just what I prefer. So with mineral sunscreens, the biggest complaint you usually hear is that it leaves this white film on your face. And guys, like there is nothing worse. Honestly, there is nothing worse than leaving the house feeling and looking just not like yourself um, because you're trying to do good for your skin, you know? And especially as a brown woman, like I have tried my share of physical sunscreens and have, you know, that have left that like disgusting white residue that makes me look ashy and it's just, just a no. And I just refuse to settle. So the ones that I found like they go on so seamlessly and they do like they, they don't leave that awful white tint on my face and I'm just like very comfortable wearing them so first and foremost this guy um, here we go so this is the drunk elephant umbra tint physical daily defense SPF 30 so I have talked about this so many times like all over Instagram I believe on my blog as well this is an excellent sunscreen it is again like a mineral sunscreen as I said and <clears throat> what I've found about mineral sunscreens is if you want to make sure there is no white tint you have to get it tinted um, I am NOT someone who enjoys you know the feel of makeup on my face but like with a light tint it's okay because I would rather save myself from the Sun and wear the kind of sunscreen that I want than you know have a bare face and go out into the Sun with like a sunscreen that I'm maybe not happy with anyway so and this is what it looks like and the thing is like it just gives you this really really beautiful glow okay just trying to figure out the light so I know it looks white because the lighting on my thing is just so weird but here I will show you guys it just like it yeah as I said it gives you a beautiful glow and as you can see there's really like this one has no white tint so I have nothing on this hand and the um, and the drunk elephant on this hand and you can see that there is absolutely no white tint the t the the sorry no white residue the tinted element really really helps protect you from that awful white residue it like covers it up so this is my I've been using it I'm actually almost out and I absolutely love it and it's it just it's light on your skin doesn't make me break out it's I can't recommend it enough like I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this one but I got it and I'm so happy and I can't recommend it enough um, this was actually my first experience using a drunk elephant product and I was so happy with the sunscreen which can be like a dicey product that I kind of fell in love with the line afterwards so highly highly recommend this one and if you want to know the active ingredient here is zinc oxide second one is this guy this is, uh, there we go, okay. So this is the La Roche-Posay um, Anthelios Mineral. And again, this one is, so this one is SPF, um, SPF, sorry, SPF, <laughs> this one's SPF 50, and it is also tinted. So this one goes on, it is so light, guys, it's like you don't even feel it on your face, and I will show you. It goes on, like the consistency is almost like water and it, it's so light and it dries almost like more matte-y, you could say. And you can see again, no white tint. It is 
such a good product. I can't recommend it enough. Um, La Roche Posay, again, one of those brands that I feel like they're just so reliable, you can't go wrong. The third one is actually by SkinCeuticals, and I forget, I believe it's SPF 30. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it in the, um, the section where the product description or whatever, but I don't have the bottle on me because I threw it out like an idiot. I didn't realize I was gonna do this video. Um, but again, that one, I would say the consistency is like La Roche-Posay, and when it goes onto your skin, it literally looks invisible. Um, you guys have heard me talk about SkinCeuticals products in the past. Um, I'm a big fan of their vitamin C serums, obviously the C Ferulic and Floritin CF. I've actually done a whole video on it, and I've talked about um, their discoloration defense. Like anything they put out, I'm a fan of, and their sun, their sunblock, their mineral sunscreen, whatever it is, is no different. It is really, truly excellent. Leaves no white film, and just a great overall product. And because like SkinCeuticals is a medical grade brand, you know that the products you're putting on your face, you know, you can trust. So anyway, these are my three favorites and I hope I, you know, answered the frequently asked questions when it comes to sun protection. Um, so moral of the story, you know, sun protection, very important, don't compromise, and try these guys out. I think you guys will really like it, especially if you have been having issues with your sun protection, like these ones, I promise you they will work. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe below. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.